So in our first video, we talked about how we count matter using particles with Avogadro's number. Now we're going to begin exploring how we measure matter by mass. And to do that, we have to calculate something called molar mass. So let's get started with some examples. Okay, so here what we're going to do is take a look at how we calculate molar mass. We want to start by taking a look at our formula. In sodium chloride, we have two elements, sodium and chlorine. So I'm going to take a look at each element individually. For sodium, in this formula, I have one atom. If I look at the periodic table, I see that the atomic mass for sodium is 23 grams. I also see that I have one chlorine in this formula, so I'm going to take 1 times the atomic mass of chlorine, which is 35.5 grams. So 1 times 23 is 23. 1 times 35.5 is 35.5. To finish my problem, I need to add those two numbers together. So 23 plus 35.5 gives me 58.5 grams, and that is the molar mass for sodium chloride. Okay, so here's a more complicated example. We're going to take a look at ammonium phosphate. And the reason this is a little more complicated is because we're dealing with subscripts and we're also dealing with parentheses. So what you want to remember is that a subscript outside the parentheses distributes into the parentheses. So when I start listing my elements, I have three nitrogens because this three distributed into the nitrogens. I'm going to take my three nitrogens times the atomic mass of nitrogen, which is 14.0. Three times 14 is 42. I do the same thing for my hydrogens. So if I look, my three distributes in where I already have four hydrogens. So I take three times four and I get 12 hydrogens times the atomic mass of hydrogen, which is one. 12 times one is 12 grams. I have one phosphorus atom. So I'm going to take 1 times the atomic mass of phosphorus, which is 31. 1 times 31 gives me 31. And I repeat for oxygen. I have 4 oxygens. 4 times an atomic mass of 16.0 for oxygen gives me a mass of 64 grams. My final step is to add up all of my answers. 42 plus 12 plus 31 plus 64 gives me a total of 149.0 grams for my molar mass for ammonium phosphate. Now it's your turn. I'd like you to list these three problems in your notes and calculate the molar mass. Make sure you're paying attention to subscripts, parentheses, how many atoms are in the formula, and remember to use the periodic table to look up the atomic mass for each element listed. Submit your notes in Schoology or give your handwritten copy to Mrs. Benke.